Hi, I'm George Little with Ranger Boat Company, and we're here today to talk about the brand new 2080 Angler for 2015 that Ranger Boat has just uh, brought out. We've got one here on the water. We're going to do a real quick walkthrough uh, for you. Going to start here at the bow, the important part of the boat. You can uh, see that we have built a panel that is large enough to flush mount up to a 10 inch unit, which is a real important deal. Of course, you can ram mount anything that you want, but we've got a cup holder, built in cup holder, and then uh, in this angler we have put in a tool holder, which is once again, we've got the tools exactly where you need them when you're up here fishing. The landing platform uh, will accept any trolling motor that you want to put on here. Uh, the boat comes standard with the Minn Kota Taroba. As we move back, you can see that there's no wasted space. As a matter of fact, right here in the gunnel, we put a storage box, really big storage box. <laughs> it's uh, uh, lots of room in here. You can put maps, you can put uh, suntan lotion, whatever um, you, you want to put in here. We've got space on both sides added storage. Then here on the port side front, we've got a huge storage box. You can see how much stuff that we've got put in here. But this area also is where you'll find your battery charger, your built-in battery charger, that standard equipment. All you need to do is plug in your battery charger at the end of the day, walk away from your boat all night, next day you're ready to go. Got your lock, and then on the starboard side, we've got a gel coat area here, more storage. Uh, we've got our famous double lip seal on all the lids to keep them dry. Now this one can also be used as a cooler if you don't want to use it as storage. Go one back. Bait well. Bait well. And we've configured this. We put the part in here to configure it to hold the, the, the net or the bait bucket. Um, that's what we've done here with, uh, with that circle. But if you want to pull that out, just use this as a small live well, you certainly can, but you have a front live well, bait well up here, so uh, you don't have to go all the way to the back to get your minnows. Then, the real selling feature of this boat is the Pro Rod Locker. We can put 10 rods in here, there's 10 tubes in here, and we've configured it uh, with the tubes on an angle to make it easier to get the rods in. I'll show you how that works. Now you can see that the, the bulkhead is actually on an angle. And if you think about that, it makes it a lot easier to put your rod in because it's at an angle. And when you put your rod in, it's easily easier to get it in that tube. You can see I'm not having to bend the rod as much to put that in. It just slides right in. Really, really big feature on this boat. The raised front deck, pro rod locker, lots of storage. We can put the 10 inch units on there. You've got tool holders, you've got side storage. From the consoles forward, this is a winner. Okay, now let's get to the console. We're in a 2080 Angler and you've got lots and lots of space that all the Rangers are known for. Uh, you've got a 12 inch slide on the seat. So it'll accept you know, uh, anybody of whatever length of legs that you have. You can see here, uh, we've got a nine inch unit, but you can put up to a 12 inch unit right here, flush mount in the dash. But we've also built this with a flat spot so you can ram mount, and uh, you, having two locators on this on this dash is no problem. All the gauges are, are right here on your right hand side, so they're very, very easy to see. Hydraulic steering um, is standard um, on all the Ranger boats. So uh, we are really, really excited about what we've done here, configuring the dash. But the port console, is almost even cooler. You can see we've, you know, we've got the radio here, got a spot for it. We've got a glove box with tons of room, but in here you've got your spot for your your iPod. You've got U, uh, USB uh, plug-in uh, for the radio right there inside the glove box. This is what really makes this boat special. We've got tons of storage. I showed you everything in the front, all the storage we have in the front. 
but here underneath the port console you can put four 3700s right here out of the way I mean how cool is that that's a, that's a really big deal to have a, a whole nother tackle box storage underneath the console you've got rod uh, I'm sorry cup holders on either side and uh, snap-in carpet is also something that you'll find here in the cockpit of the boat. This is snap-in carpet. It comes standard, but you can easily pull it out. There's a large step from the, from the floor up to the front deck. So we've taken, instead of just building a step, we've uh, made some, some use of that space. So you can actually use that as a cooler if you like to, or you never have enough storage. Uh, so this is another spot that puts stuff. Now we'll get to the rear uh, section of the boat. And one thing you'll notice is that in the 2080, it doesn't have the side storage boxes. It gives you the ability to get right next to the rail to fight a fish or to net a fish. So this boat doesn't have the side storage boxes, which gives you a ton more space inside the cockpit. What we do have is side storage. You've got a spot here where you can put two trolling rods that run the, runs the length of the boat, virtually nine foot rods, no problem, put in the side. We have here your access to the pump, something Ranger is famous for, um, and the ability to get to a pump uh, when you might need to service one, really, really easy to get to. Now, the live well, the business end here. 40 plus inch live well in the 2080. It, it will, it's built to accept virtually any size fish that we're gonna, uh, that we're gonna worry about catching. Uh, you got your ruler here, makes it real easy to see uh, if the fish is legal before you put them in. And then this boat is, is set up with the optional ski pole. You can see you've got a seat base here and the, the, the hole behind that is for the ski pylon. It's just a one single ski pylon that will go in there. It's not a tripod with arms off of it. It's just one pole that sits down in there. Really, really great feature when you want to use your angler for more than just fishing. We have more storage on either side of the live well. We got your starting battery in here. On the other side, it's a completely open box. And you can use this for your planer boards, for your drift socks, for things you don't mind that might get a little bit damp. Uh, use these two boxes in the back. You can see, even though we don't have the side storage boxes, we have done uh, a lot of work in building this boat so it still has plenty of storage. Lots of rod storage, rod storage in the side, uh, tackle box storage under the console. Um, we're not losing anything here by these, not having these boxes, but you're gaining a ton of floor space. With every Ranger boat, as we have here, you have a choice of power. We've got a 250 Verado on this boat, which brings up another really great selling point, as this boat's rated for a 250. You're going to have a boat that performs in the mid-50s uh, to high 50 mile an hour, regardless of how many people you put in here. But you do have a choice of power. You can put whatever engine you would like on it. The boat will also perform with a 225 with no, no issues whatsoever. But we're really happy with the fact that we can put a 250 on this. So if you want to learn anything else about all the Ranger boats or the 2080 that we're standing in today, go to rangerboats.com.